One of the big questions in AI has been to what extent physical form factors are going to be tackled by the model makers, which is a fancy way of saying, will OpenAI do robotics? Will Google do robotics? Will Meta do robotics? We do have some of the answer. We've seen what I would call breadcrumbs along the way in 2024 to suggest that OpenAI is strongly considering robotics. They have hired some of the best physical device designers in the world, including Johnny Ive, who used to work on design at Apple. They are supposedly exploring making a wearable with Johnny. We will see. No prototype has yet leaked. And just a couple of days ago, news broke that they are th seriously thinking about building robots again. And I say again because they actually shut down their robot division in 2021. This was really before Chat GPT caught on. You remember when 3.5 came out, this is not something that you would allow to drive a robot. It wasn't making those kinds of decisions. And now Chat GPT is actually inside other companies' robots. For example, Figure, which is shipping robots to factories now, uses ChatGPT in the brains of the robot. It's natural if you're a CEO in Sam Altman's position to think to yourself, would it make sense for my company to get into robotics? Should I reawaken the robotics division? Well, that's an interesting question. I think one of the bigger pieces they need to tackle is whether they as a company strategically are willing to play from behind. I've been in a company that plays from behind. Amazon was a rare second place player in video when I was there in Prime Video. Netflix dominated. It was a very strange feeling to be in an otherwise dominant company and to be playing in a second place division that was working on catching up. That is what would be happening in robotics at OpenAI, unlike the rest of the company where OpenAI enjoys an advantage and is widely considered one of the leaders in the AI space. It's a very different thing. And it's very, very difficult and takes a long time to catch up in those situations. So I don't know if they're actually going to invest in robotics. I am much more confident that they will invest in some kind of physical device. It makes too much sense for them not to be in the physical world since so much of the customer's interaction with AI is going to be in the physical space. You might as well own the device. And so I feel good about predicting that they will get into physical devices. Robots may be one way they do that but they may find it easier just to work with Johnny Ive and get into wearables or something like that. We will see. Either way, I think my base case bet is we see some kind of a prototype before the end of next year, before the end of 2025. You tell me what you think.